Here is a quick look at the Deltic DP1. DP stood for diesel prototype and it was number one. This one was blue with cream stripes on the side and the stripes made the sides look a little narrower and therefore faster. And on the front it had these moustache like chevrons that gave the impression of speed and were made to appeal to the American market although these were never sold to the American market. Now the DP2 was also made and that was a green colour, but this one, the DP1, was blue and cream. To add to the American look, these locomotives were going to have a single Mars light which rotated at the front fitted. That never happened. The name Deltic came from the diesel engines that powered this machine. There were two of them creating 3,300 horsepower. The A4 was replaced by the Deltic on the eastern region. The Deltic was made in 1955 and in March 1961 it was withdrawn after a serious power plant failure. That was six months before I was born and this is one of the reasons why this locomotive is special to me. I also like this locomotive because it was made by the English Electric Company. Now apart from fridge freezers they also made the English Electric Lightning, Britain's first all-weather supersonic interceptor could actually flight Mach 2, and the Lightning is my favourite aircraft. Now the Deltic 55 was the train that was developed from the DP-1. Now if we compare, we can see some subtle differences between the design of these two locomotives. The DP-1 has a longer, pointier snout with the headlamp position in place. With these two particular models, the Backman DP1 has a lot more detail, such as with the windscreen wipers, and the Hornby Railroad Deltic 55 is a more simplified model. Still very nice though. What this nameplate actually says is designed and built by the English Electric Company Limited, equipped with two Napier Deltic. 18 oil engines, rated output 3,300 horsepower. There is some seriously nice detail on the front as well. That says the English Electric Company on the front. The Deltic 55s pretty much went into service in 1961, the year that I was born, and this particular one, 55002, was named after the same regiment that my granddad served in in the First World War when he won his VC, and that's the Corley. So I hope you enjoyed this little piece of history on the Deltic DP-1.